So, without further ado, let's take a look at the cards. It looks like the beginning of December might be a good time just for you to hang out and think about things. Um, when Hangman shows up, this is actually the upright position of the card. It means getting enlightenment about something, seeing something from a different point of view. It also means um, honoring and accepting your own unique vision and place in the world, like accepting yourself just as you are um, and marching to the beat of your own drum. It, it has sort of like a rebellious feel to it where like he's doing something different from the rest of the world. Sometimes he's looked upon as a rebel or an outcast, but it really just means getting comfortable even in your discomfort. Even if it looks like you're doing things in an unconventional kind of way, it's saying, no, that's me. That's how I, that's how I roll. I'm comfortable hanging upside down here. I, I get a really cool view of the world. I see things from a different perspective. And with that comes enlightenment. I'm actually seeing that you may be getting insights and perspective on your unique role within a relationship with someone that you maybe have known since childhood or just a very sweet connection. Um, Six of Cups has to do with kindness, with innocence, with sharing your heart with someone who makes you feel like a child. And for some of you, I'm getting that you're really taking a look, you're taking a pause and a moment to suspend yourself and look at how you show up in this dynamic. Like, where is the love? Where is the tenderness? Where is the innocence? Um, and you may find that or not. But six, six of cups in reverse warns us, don't be too cynical. Don't become jaded. Open your heart like a child. Um, be, be comfortable with being vulnerable. You know, kids don't have any agendas. They're just sharing these flowers with one another and probably laughing and giggling. And, you know, kids have this openness. That's what this card's about, too. Um, so he's kind of, I'm kind of seeing him as thinking about that. And musing on that and saying, how can I get back to feeling childlike again? Especially as it has to do with your connection with someone else. And especially if there's someone from the past. See if you can open yourself to the whiteness and the purity of the this kind heart. Like this child's heart that you have inside of you, Libra. Because there is some, you know, even amidst conflict. Um, this is a five card, five of swords. And I usually call this picking up the pieces. What this is telling me is that you may not be fully collecting all of the insights and wisdom and knowledge and understanding that is available to you from past conflicts or past battles. Five of Swords depicts someone picking up swords from a battlefield where the battle is already over and the sun is setting. So this is always an opportunity for us to learn and, and look back and see, okay, well, what, what knowledge did I gain? from that conflict. What insights do I have? They're, those are always available. Those are always laying out on the field because swords represent um, thoughts and ideas and beliefs and knowledge, wisdom, understanding. So make sure that you collect those insights, especially as it has to do with past relationships or this relationship with someone who you used to feel childlike with. Make sure, with this in reverse, it's telling me that you may be missing out on collecting those insights from your past struggles and battles. Make sure you go back over that field and see what what those sort of silver linings are, or those swords, those thoughts and beliefs, because they're going to serve you with more information to create what it is that you'd like to create. This is a very powerful card. This is magician. And magician's word is abracadabra, which means I say it and therefore it is. I, I create it before me. He takes all of, of the tools in his tool belt. These represent all the four elements of the tarot, coins, swords, wands, and cups. And he manifests what he, what he envisions because he has singular focus. He has the power of concentration. And he says, I am. This is what I am. This is what I choose. Here it is. Abracadabra, I pull this rabbit out of a hat. Um, so he can create something out of nothing, just by the focus of his mind. Um, so this is a very creative and powerful card. And the fact that you have both Magician and Hangman is telling me that you need to go back and take, take a different perspective 
accept and value your own unique perspective, especially as it relates to your relationships and the um, the tone that they have. Are they cynical or are they innocent? Are they warm-hearted and open, or is there some jadedness? And look at your look at insights from the past that you can collect and take forward with you to feel in your own authority. This is bold. This is creative. This is leading the way. He's saying, I have everything I need. I can create what I want. Watch me do it. So this is really strong, Libra. This is telling me that you have the capability to create anything you want at the beginning of December. But you may have to go back and collect these wisdom um, swords and insights by pausing and reflecting to kind of take stock and take inventory and really look at those things to take you forward. Um, I do see in the middle of the month that you have, you may be a little in your mind, you know, what this is saying, you may be overthinking things at times. Um, you Libras are air signs, and you know, you can sometimes kind of do this. This is temperance in reverse, which means like they're, way, they're balancing two different energies. In the upright, it means finding compromise, finding peace, finding the middle path, the middle ground. Um, creating something new because it's like two hearts that when the angel of peace here is pouring these two hearts into one another, one another, it's creating a new water. That's what this triangle represents is the third thing, the new thing that originates th through the combination of these two things. But when it's and, and serenity, um, temperance has a lot of serenity, a lot of peace, a lot of balance to it. When it's in reverse, it can sometimes mean feeling emotionally unstable or feeling like wobbly, feeling like you're trying to balance something that won't balance. That's why I think you're getting this Nine of Swords energy. And I really get that it's from maybe overthinking things. You may be going back and forth and back and forth. That's what those Libra scales are about. Like I, look, I see it from this point of view, but I also see it from this point of view. You Librans are very fair with things. That's, that's what justice represents. And again, we see the scales here. But this is sort of a warning to say, don't overthink things. This can be like making mountains out of molehills. There's really, you know, if you have three problems, don't make it into nine, is what this says. It really reminds me of a quote that says, uh, worry is like a rocking chair. It keeps you busy and gets you nowhere. So just be aware that, you know, if you're overthinking things, if you're feeling emotionally out of balance or you can't seem to access your peace or your serenity, especially in relation to a new cycle regarding a relationship, try not to overthink it. There's a lot of security here. There's a lot of stability. Look at what you've already built. This is Ten of Coins, which represents security and domestic bliss. This is the return on investment card. This is all the coins and the security and the benefit and the peace and the safety from good decisions having been made over time. Sometimes this can be an inheritance or windfall of money showing up for you. But look at what you've built. Don't don't get wobbly like this, Libra. You know, overthinking things. There's a lot of security here and a lot of stability. Look at the stability that you've built for yourself, Libra. That's and really relish in it. There's a, there's a couple here that is strong, they're in the castle, they're in the fortress, and they've built that together. And they're safe behind, um, you know, the, the structure of the money, the structure of the family, the structure of all the things they've done together. So this is either money coming in, a big chunk of it, or stability, structure, order. All of those things come with Ten of Coins. It's good stuff. So don't, don't throw yourself off. Don't throw those scales going into motion by having too much air, too much overthinking. If you find yourself doing this in the middle of the month, Libra, go into any of the other elements instead of air, mind stuff. Go into your heart, which is cups or water energy, um, or even just go be by some water. Um, go into earth energy, which could be like gardening or connecting with earth energy, being near a mountain, um, having stones around you, anything, or even a picture of something that is earthen, you know, ceramics, something like that, or fire energy, which is active and passionate, and, you know, maybe build a fire and get warmth from that. That may, that may help you alleviate any excess air energy that's toppling your peace. 
also we have lovers in reverse here. Now it's interesting because I see some relationship cards in reverse. But what this is telling me is that there may be something to be addressed or uncovered or just examined in regards to a current relationship, a past relationship, or your relationship to relationships in general. So this is lovers. And what this talks about is your willingness to be open and vulnerable with someone else. This is a card of sensuality. It's a card of two people connecting on all levels, head, heart, and body. Um... So I'm going to ask, what's the fear, the doubt, or the resistance um, within a relationship or how you approach relationships? Is Does it feel like this is just a, a relationship out of conventionality and stability rather than passion and openness? Bring this into the relationship more if you can. And that's by being vulnerable with someone. Open yourself to someone else. When you open to the world, the world opens to you. And when you open to another, they open to you. So Libra, if you're experiencing any sort of like, you know, whether it's a loveless marriage or, or it's just like it's grown, grown into just like conventionality, but where's the passion? This is sitting right next to it. Watch if we turn these right ups, uh, um, right side up. You know, if you if you get rid of this excess thinking, look at all this beautiful stuff you have, Libra. Stability, emotional balance, connection. So I'm going to ask you, can you, re can you remove all of this overthinking to get to your place of peace, of moderation, and love and connection? That's That, that may be your challenge the middle of the month, Libra. Um, then around that new moon, we have justice. And this is where the scales balance. This is your card, Libra. And this has to do with the weighing of evidence on both sides, hearing both sides' point of view, and arriving at the truth, arriving at a verdict, and saying, okay, you feel this way, I feel this way, this is what we're going to decide. This is how it goes forward. And this is fairness. You Libras know how to do that. You know how to be fair, because you do listen to both sides of the story. Make sure that you include your own side of the story as well as the other person's. And this is a successful, um, truthful rendering of a verdict based upon both sides. So just, justice is served um, by the middle of the month. It may mean having to let something go that is from the path. This is a transformation card. And I want you to see that King of Swords and Justice both hold the sword of the truth in their hands. He's rational, logical, analytical. I'm actually seeing this as you, Libra. I'm seeing both of these as you. You may be working with an air sign to end something. You may have to let go of an air sign, you know, potentially Gemini, another Libra, or Aquarius. But really, I'm seeing this as you in your own authority and having the strength and the courage to let something go. When I see the death card, it's usually about cutting away an old rose that has died and collecting the seeds from it to replant a new rose for new life, new growth. You may have to acknowledge the ending of a cycle that is throwing you off kilter, especially if it's an old, an old relationship. It may, there may be a cycle that's completing and it's getting ready for a new cycle. Think of death as like a portal card where you're walking through a portal where the old life is behind you and the new life is ahead of you. That is the function of death. Death allows for rebirth. This is a Scorpio card. So think of the phoenix rising from the ashes. It has to burn down to the ground before it can rise up and have new life. So I want, I want you to consider towards the end of December, what is it that you need to cut out? What in your garden is old dead growth that you need to cut with the sword of the truth in order to allow you to have new life coming forward. Really beautiful possibilities. Think of winter where all the leaves have died off and they're preparing sort of under the surface for new life to come ahead for that spring. You don't have to feel paralyzed. You don't have to feel stuck. This is eight of swords. If you do this, again, it's sort of hearkening back to the nine of swords energy, which means the only way that you will feel stuck is by your own limiting beliefs, Libra. Again, too many swords, overthinking. Clear away whatever swords are there that is limiting you, making you feel powerless, victimized, and stuck. You have so much authority and power and control in this situation, it's crazy. You're the king of swords. You're justice. 
you are like using this blade to cut out all the old, clear away all that old stuff. Don't don't give in to this. This is saying that you may you may give in if this is saying if you overthink things. You may give in to feeling uh, powerless, stuck, blinded, victimized. She has a way out. There's nobody else holding her there. It's only her thoughts. And she can cut her binds on any of these swords, pull that blindfold off, and walk away. It, there's freedom here, believe it or not. It's her belief that she's stuck that is causing her to feel that way. So embrace your strength, your authority at the end of December, Libra. It's really going to allow you to clean house and clear away... All that old growth, ready for something new. There's some there's some nice cards here for you, especially in terms of being fair, seeing both sides, rendering a verdict. Um, and you have a look at all these cards of authority and power. Magician, justice, king of swords. I know what to say. I'm in alignment with the truth. I make decisions and I create what I want. And I and I have the wisdom and experience to do that. So use your past, the insights from the past, to rectify anything that feels out of balance, to connect with another person, and to create what you want. Render that verdict. You have, you have such great capability here in December. You have a lot of power. It's going to be a powerful month for you if you embrace that power. Stay with your truth, the one truth, and don't let all these other little tiny minimal thoughts creep in to put you off balance. Stick with the truth. It, it, it's a very sharp blade, and it will serve you to cut away old growth, Libra. So that's my reading for you for December, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to share it with another Libra who you think might enjoy it as well. Um, feel free to share it on social media. And if you'd ever like to book a personal reading with me, I do three card readings, uh, half hour readings, relationship readings, and hour long readings. And those include numerology, astrology, cards of destiny, love cards, and tarot. So if you'd like to book one of those, just email me below. I'll have my email in the description box. And I hope everyone has a beautiful December. I hope you all have wonderful holidays. I love this time of year. And I just want to say, as always, thank you so much for watching Yours in the Stars.